there you go that's the trees almost finished now I've just got one little bit to do and you see how nice the sky looks now we've got some kind of perspective there this is the bit I'm going to show you now to its conclusion and I'll bring you closer I've already started building this area at the back you saw me start it but I just added a bit more in but a nice little line of a broken line there which is rather attractive now we want to bring this down and we want to before we fill it up too much with pastel we want to come in and start breaking some of this up now this is once again it's in this random technique uh, you see that little bit already looks so much different doesn't it you don't want to put too much dark along the edge there I want to leave that quite light but we've got to bring the dark in now somewhere like that would be nice to have some strength because we can leave the ochre that I put, put in there alone and come round it. The other thing you've got to have it quite strong at the bottom. Once again you don't have to have it all the way along just in spots like that so leave that little bit light that little bit light and we want to leave this area here fairly light too because we're going to put let me show you what I'm going to be doing with that later on and I can do it straight on the paper because it's going to be very dark there and we're going to eventually put some black on top of that so now it gives us another line and that line will go all the way down to there break it, break it up a little bit so it's not too contrived there you go that comes all the way down to the, to the water but we won't do that yet you see what I mean now we've got something to work with and I don't if we make that too dark in there we're, not, we're going to lose it against it so we're still going to put the 174 in but not like this not as strong uh, twiddle it around again it's nice to have a little bit of because once we put the dark green in here we can then put some 175 and some black into it as well and I've got another little bit area here we don't want to isolate that too much from what's going on behind and it's you've got to be quite clever at this but you've still got to break it up now that's looking good now you're getting the idea I'm sure making it a little darker here just there keeping that um, ochre which I love that bit now the other thing we can do is here we can be a bit clever this is the color this is 177 now 177 as opposed to 175 gives you a brown rich brown and that could work really well with the ochre see what I mean a bit of richness that and then another two colors which I'm going to show you that one which is 183 and 283 work really well together let me show you I've already put some ochre in here 182 and 183 I've already done that so I just want to expand it out a little bit and we can use 183 too and when those two go together they give a really attractive tone do you see that and we can make it darker by putting the 177 in and giving it see what I mean there leave that little bit of light behind in fact what we could do with that is make that just a little bit lighter behind now should we do this before I think where you can roll your pencil you see that it's just little bursts of color and let's put a little bit more in we don't want to make it again if you do it all the way along there it's going to look odd so now a little burst of light is a good idea uh, also I've, that's uh, 104 but I've also used this one which is 106 which is a yellow and that again adds a little bit of sparkle like that let's put a little bit of that in there because that would also look really good on top with or with the ochre there we go lovely now we've got to make this work a bit better so let's bring some of the other colors in we've had before it's 168 making it green um, all the time you'll see when I operate this system you'll see me flitting about now the reason I do that is that it doesn't it means one color doesn't dominate totally 
see that, how that works. And you can then use the other colour, which is 170, which is a little lighter green, just to enhance that. A little bit more. Okay, a little bit here, a little bit there. A little bit more, a little bit more punch, I think, there. That's good. And when we put the dark on in a minute, that's really going to lift this up. But you can see how it's working already. Let's put just a little of the, the light green in as well. Just gives us an opportunity in a minute or two to do more separation. That's good. Okay, now another colour which I haven't really used yet is 187. Now 187 is, is the one of the ochres that I used in here. I've already put some in, but I'm going to add a bit more now. Again, pick your spots. And 283 again works really well with 187. So that now looks as though it's intertwined within that lot. Got it? 175. Now here we start the ball rolling on the, the darker bits. And if every time, like if I was to do this half a dozen times, it would look different every time. The idea is to be mindful of the fact that you don't want to make it too rich uh, and too dark, too quick. So work your way towards it. These areas I was talking about earlier, you see how much richer that whole thing looks. And I'm going to break off in a minute and then we're going to analyse it. This is what I would ex expect you to do. This is where we're going to be careful. If we make the dark too dark here, we're not going to have that. And I want to come in from that dark spot there. I want to drop down like that. Now that is looking quite spectacular. One other colour which I'm going to use here before we put any light back on again is the black. Now the black really does add punch, you can see from just that. But of course you've also got to be careful with it. Just in here would be nice so that we can just frame that little bit of light. Now you can't predict this in advance because you don't know what you're going to be doing but that little area there is lovely now. Let's just go from here a little bit here. I hope you're enjoying this. It's it's good fun to do and it must be interesting for you to watch. And once again, I, because I've got the, the 175 already in there, I don't need to do too much work in it, but just a little bit there. Okay, now that could be left like that, folks. That's really nice. But I'm not going to because we're going to put some other colours in. I'm going to put a little bit of... Uh, oh, uh, um, this is ivory. And what this does, it just lifts some of those areas just lightens up just here and there you could use white as well um, I'm choosing to use ivory but you could use white other thing you can do is we can make it interesting by putting if you've got a sharp point that is you can put a few little bits like that in it just don't too many again it's just a little bit of extra that works really well and another thing that works well like that is, is my 175, I wonder if this sharp enough. Um, well, uh, no, I tell you what, I'm going to sharpen this because it's right important. You see, I put a couple of little bits in there. Well, I'm going to do some more in here, but really this does need to be sharp, folks. Right now, I've got a nice sharp point there. Let me just show you what I do. I just expand this a little bit. It's just a wiggle. It just puts a little bit of interest because we've got a nice light tree line behind that. You see, do you see that? Okay, let's put a few more in here as well. Some to go with that light as well. So we have light and dark mixed together there. And a few more. Now, I don't really want to do too much more because I think what we've got is a really nice little bit. All I would do and this is my own little thing I do, is, is put a, just a few little wildflowers in. This is red, and I usually put a bit of orange in. You, you always find this is just something I love to do. You see that? Just a little bit of wildflowers in there. There's plenty of them. 
around that uh, area. Excellent. And another thing that will surprise you, blue, just a touch of blue is always nice. And that is all I'm going to do. So there we are. Excellent. Good. Okay, let's uh, pull back from that. You can look at that in, in um, relationship to the whole thing. It's a whole nice little area there that you'll you really like to see in a minute too. It, it really stands out. Uh, and then the next thing, very next thing we're going to do is to start the building, which will be great fun. <laughs> 